Welcome back to Fet Plays RimWorld Beta 18. Welcome to Century City, where we have a fertilized Brontosaurus egg that just turned into a chicken egg. Dang it. Okay. I need a spot for Bronto eggs. Pronto eggs. Okay. Yeah, I got Coriothosaurus, Turkey. What is this one for? Ankylosaurus. All right, I understand this. I do. We need a brontosaurus egg, though. Egg spot, I should say. You know what? Let's move this heater over here, and then we'll put another nest there. Yeah, I didn't think about that, but we could end up with brontosaurus eggs. As long as they can find each other and, you know, mate some more. Either way, life's going all right over here. We have a field of bushes. That our animals can eat with reckless abandon if they wish. More importantly, AC's done here. And if we look over here, we're building a new laser turret. Which I cannot wait to see in action. I'm probably going to go make an animal mad on purpose. Just to see what it can do. But that's not here nor there. What is here and there is that uh, Century City seems to be doing pretty well. I like what they're doing. Look at that. Look at this advanced geothermal generator. It's pretty darn great. Ragamuffin City's not doing too bad either. Beardy, this is not going to be your room. No, 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 no. You don't understand. You could stay there tonight, but eventually you're going back over here for now. Somewhere. Where, 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 where would we put you? I guess right here. Because Triple Strike took this room. Nobody's in this room. Yeah, I guess that would work. Okay, Beardy. You gotta move, man. It's not you, it's me. It's actually you, but... Okay. It's all well and good, good and well. How am I doing over here? I'm doing some more research. We're gonna learn us some new turrets as well. We're just kind of cranking out all these turret options here. Energy weapon systems will give us... The energy turret. Well, that just makes sense. We can also do shield generators after that, and I think we might. I don't know. We could also do a portable shield generator. That's pretty cool. And then universal auto crafting. Could be great. I'm interested. There are stockpile crates as well. For better stockpiles. In fact, we should probably learn that, too, just to be able to do that. So I'm going to put that on the next steps here. Because I think more efficient storage would be very, very nice. And then maybe we'll do some, some road making. Because we got no roads leading in or out of Ragamuffin City. We could build a road over here to Purple Beskolo. Or even Yaling. That'd be great. Looks like our, uh, our construction jackets did not get made in time. That's okay. It's not like I did a priority on it or anything. So, it's not that big a deal. Is this a freaking... That is a, a town on an island. Didn't think I'd ever see that from the, from the AI. It's interesting. We got a lot of outposts near us, too, that we need to take out. So, we might start doing some of that soon, too. Because who do we got over here? Western Teal Nation? Aren't they... Aren't they... Let's see. Colonists to factions. There we go. Okay. Let's see. Western Teal Nation. There they are. Yeah, they are... Tr they are industrial. Oh. Okay. They're not tribal. Good to know nonetheless. Let's see. Who else is near us? Northwestern Antharalia, Western Teom, Dark Frogs, Bloody Lineup. Okay. Lots of options. In fact, there are a few nifty things I could probably try doing to take them out. Elsa has been inspired. It's pretty great. She's got herself a go frenzy. In fact, once these transport pods are done, I might try doing something here. We'll see. 
But for now, Henry and Angel are getting married right here. And we're going to gather to celebrate that. It's pretty great. Here they go. Set back. Oh, wow. A hard snow here in Century City. It's actually zero degrees. But our our rooms are still staying around 20. Oh, this one's still only 16. It's getting a little lower here. I blame this, the curtains. So I tell you what, let's replace those curtains with regular doors. Here in the kitchen area, I'm okay with the temperature being low. That's fine. How's the hospital looking? 20. That's about as much as you can hope for. They absolutely enjoyed our hospitality here. They gave us 7 clay, 186 silage, 38 red lentils, and 23 brown malts. The Great Crag Amalgamation will see us next time. Fermented hay and grain for your animals. So it won't rot. That's cool. You can make this stuff, right? Yeah. 20 ingredients and 20 hay. I'm not sure what to think about that, but the fact that it doesn't rot is pretty darn cool, I will admit. Move these marble chunks when you get a chance. No rush, though, because we got plenty of stuff in our, in our little hole here. Got another turkey. Thanks to D-Rite. It's pretty great. Don't have that laser turret yet. We're waiting for some components in there. We got 318 components over here. We'll be fine. It's just going to take some time. And by some time, I mean Vasilla's working on it right now. Henry and Angel are beginning their marriage ceremony. Everyone appears to be attending. It's pretty great. Got some people sitting in the back. McGinnis, Volpe, Pepsi Elsa. Triple strike myself near the front and center. It's pretty great. Wait a minute. Where's Dismas? Oh, he's right here. He's over here in the corner. Just hiding out. But I'm pretty sure everybody's here. Oh, nope. Gigi's not here yet. Gigi's running. She might make it before the before they're done. Oh! There she is. She's made it. And she's in position. Beautiful. Everybody's here. It's pretty darn great. There you go. It's always nice. See a little bit of pure happiness here in Ragamuffin City. And now the post-marriage party has begun. Back here in Century City, where other things be happening, we got a laser turret. And... I'm interested. You have piqued my interest. And we're going to build a heavy turret over here, too. The ceremony's been called off? What happened? Why do we have to call off the ceremony? We don't need batteries. I don't know why that one won't go away. But I'm not sure why the ceremony got called off. You need meats. Okay. Okay. So, we can actually put most of our animals back to pet zone, but that particular animal doesn't have his own, yeah, his own thing here. So, he's not, he's stuck. He was stuck. He's no longer stuck. Now, any other animals I want to let out? Yeah, let's let the rhinos out. Home area, or the hippos, sorry, not the rhinos. I know my animals, kind of. The llamas, I want them to stay in because I want them to be safe. New pandas to tame. A husky to tame. And that's good. Cool, cool, cool. Got two people rocking down research. One person actually rocking down the research on the... Uh... Well, there you go. Evaluate components. On rim atomics. We're learning energy weapons, boys. <laughs> Next up. Examine construction blueprints. I feel like this is a lot of research to have to do for just a group of energy weapons. Are they going to have their own, like, research bench? Or no, they'll probably use the machining table here. That makes sense. Okay. 
We'll figure that out, I suppose. Dismiss running over here to do some of that research, too. Energy weapon systems are done, yo. Check it. Energy turret. An armored turret with low cooldown time that fires four burst rounds of concentrated energy at nearby enemies. It's huge. It also requires freaking uranium. So we'll figure that out later, I suppose. But let's get the uh, let's get the heavy turret down as well. Put that right here. I want to test them both out. We can reinstall them and move them around, so that's all well and good. While we're waiting on that, though, anyone on the outside? Silvermane, you're actually perfect for this. I want you to run over somewhere, make something mad, and drag it back to the village. Terminator's pregnant, by the way. It's pretty great. Let's see. I'm looking around for animals that could be angered. I mean, there's some more Ankylosauruses up here. There's that Brontosaurus, but I'd prefer not to. There's a Brachiosaurus. And there's a couple of Stegos. I guess the Stego would be the best bet. Alright. For now, let's restrict everyone to the home area so that we just go inside. And we'll bring Silvermane over here and... Project Let's Try a Freaking Laser Turret has begun. Alright. Let's go, Silvermane. Let's go. All right. Forty-six percent chance is a perfect chance until it moves out of the way. Dang it! All right. I just need one shot. Please do me this favor. Oh, you stupid animal. Oh, my goodness. You know what? Just hit the freaking Brachiosaurus. Or not the Brachia, the, uh... What are you? Remind me what you're called? Oh, you are the Brachiosaurus. No, you don't understand, Brachiosaurus. You're supposed to be mad. Fight me! Ah. <laughs> uh, what about the Coriathosaurus? Although, you might be fast. What's your speed here? 4.26 on Silvermane? 4.03. Okay, that's perfect. Alright, one shot, one Manhunter. Oh my lord, they just don't get mad. They're just like, oh, you're putting the bullet hole in me? That's fine. I don't, I don't need that existence to live. I don't need to exist to live. Please, something go Manhunter. Oh my sweet god. Silvermane, you're too good. Okay, well. Try this instead. Oh, come on. We can't anger anything. I mean, I'm sure the Stegosauruses would anger right away, but they're also technically faster than Silvermane. Okay, there we go. We've done it. Back to base. Let's go. Of course, you hit it in the... Sp no! <laughs> He's too good! He's too good at, at the hunting and the killing! Someone save me from this dangerous man! Are you kidding me? It did not immediately go Manhunter? I expected the Stegos to go Manhunter. It's okay. The good thing is we're shooting them in the legs. All this just to test out a single freaking turret, man. Goldie is giving birth. It's more sheep. I like it. Please, do me this favor. Get mad. I guess I could use the Devastator Mortar, too, now that I think about it. In fact, screw it. That's going to be easier. <laughs> just go back to base. Erdy, get on this Devastator Mortar. We're just going to shoot at something. That, and make it Manhunter. One of these things has to go Manhunter if we shoot at it. 
All right. There it goes. Parasaur Revenge. Is it just one of them? It's just one of them, but that's fine. Don't bleed out. Oh, actually, while we're thinking about it here, can we go ahead and turn this off for right now? Yeah, when it comes around this corner, it'll be great. He's outside of the allowed area. Thank you. Okay. All right, Parasaur's on its way. I just want to test out a single turret. All right. It's coming. It's coming. How are we doing on the uh, Devastator? A couple minutes here. Wow. Examine construction blueprints is done. That was fast. Next, weapons research bench. Oh, yeah. I got to make a special bench for it. Weapons research bench. Oh, my God. It's huge. What the hell? And then a weapons console? I gotta make a whole room for this. I don't think I'm a fan. Alright. Well, while we're freaking hunting with our turret, we might as well hunt with our turret. Free llama meat! Alright. Galileo has given birth. Okay, where's that Parasaur? It was close. It's right here. It's still Manhunter, which I appreciate. The boars are helping. They don't care about the boars. They don't. They have better things to do in their life. Like try to attack us. Melee attacking Rider. I mean, you're going to have to go up either way. Okay. Devastator Mortar is almost done. Getting blood everywhere, Parasaur. Just want to see a couple of shots. Boogaboo is giving birth. Come on. Okay, Erdy. That was not what I intended. That was my mistake. <laughs> But that was that also not what I wanted to happen. Did you even hit it? I don't know if you did. Oh. Ooh. That's neat. I don't know if it's doing a lot of damage, but it shoots fast. And it did knock him down. That's a neat turret. Finish him off, please. All right, let's move you inside. Laser turrets do explode, I believe. It doesn't say they do, so maybe they don't. I'm going to assume that they don't based off of literally nothing and put the high energy turret here. <laughs> Alright, we can turn this precision turret back on now, too. All right, lots of repairs going on because of a mistake that was made, and that's okay. We make mistakes. Yes, we do. We make mistakes, but how about you? It's it's a normal part of life. You don't understand. Mistakes happen. Okay, don't you don't have to hold fire anymore, but Erdy, you're cleared for takeoff here. Go wherever you want. Get yourself some food and stuff. I mean, you're you got married recently. You're happy as can be. At least we got a unconscious Brachiosaurus we can euthanize by cut. We could also try to cure its gunshots. You could, we can cure, we could try to cure the gunshot in the brain. I mean, if we tamed it, maybe, but I'd rather just go ahead and have it for dinner. Speaking of which, I forgot we could even do that. We might be able to fix your injury too. Yeah, uh, not glitter world, but regular medicine at least. Let's see if we could fix that up. And then we need to make sure we have a spot for Brontosaurus eggs. 
Because apparently we might be growing some Brontosauri as well. Someone previously said that Century City is kind of becoming Jurassic Park, and you're apparently not wrong about that. Lots of repairs to do. It's not really a problem. I'm not mad. Necessarily. Memes is no longer inspired. Now I'm mad. How dare you not be inspired around here? Nah. It's all well and good and good and well. McGinnis. I'm going to start putting down our blast doors in here. Completely and utterly unnecessary, but I like it too. Also, we're going to need some flooring in here. So, what do we want? Tiles? White checked carpet? Probably not white checked carpet. But like, I, I kind of like these tiles, but at the same time, not 100% on those. We could do plasteel flooring if we really wanted to get stupid about it. Because it, it never gets dirty. Which means it would actually be better in the kitchen. Although we could afford to put it in almost anywhere. Which means, yeah, I want it in the kitchen. Yeah, we're going to wait. Let some of the sand get dug up so that we can finish this off. Oh, speaking of which. But... Eventually, I'm going to want to do that. As for our actual freezer area, it doesn't really matter what we build it out of. It really doesn't. So I'm thinking... I don't know. Square lamp tiles? Oh, yeah! <laughs> Almost like a metal tile with white. Waterproof. And other floor tiles cannot be put on top of it. Well, I would expect not. I that's the first time I've noticed that. It was kind of interesting. Make hempcrete. Hempcrete floor. Hempcrete tile floor. Hempcrete plate floor. Pretty, but labor and material intensive. Cleanliness of 0.1. Compare that to the sterile tile, which has a cleanliness of 0.6. I actually don't think any of the hempcrete stuff has, like, particularly good uh, cleanliness to it. Hemp fabric, or hemp carpet, devil's leaf fabric, hemp stalk floor, be careful for fires, do me this favor. Hmm. I, I'm almost tempted to put that in there, but I know I shouldn't. Let's just do hempcrete tile flooring. We're gonna make the hempcrete. Don't even get it twisted. Nah, actually, we'll let that be uh, sterile. That might work out a little bit better. Although, I have been wrong before. And believe it or not, I will continue to be wrong in the future. Anyway. Lots of construction still to do down here. It's fine. It's fine. We're still growing cotton. It's going to take a while to get this carpeting done. But once it's all done, ooh, it's going to be beautiful. You'll love it. I'll love it. We'll all love it. I have enough Devil Strand to make another Devil Strand bed. What about a Devil Strand double bed? What does that take? 400 Devil Strand. Well, I guess that just, just makes sense, doesn't it? Okay. Make another double for bed frame, and we'll wait and get make a double bed. Dismas and Volpe haven't had a room upgrade in a while anyway. Okay. Growing some Devil Strand in a couple of places too, and it's pretty great. Got our corn growing pretty well. Got our silky room here, it's going pretty well. I'd say things in general are going alright. So, we got ten rooms down here. We got eight rooms here. Four more here. That's 12, 15 rooms. Ah, we're gonna need, we're gonna make a few more. We got a exotic goods trader. Mass driver solutions. Are they here? They are here. Let's go give them a talk. Yeah, we'll just leave that coal inside the refinery. It's fine. Whatever. What are you making? Devil's leak leaf. leaf fabric pants. Alright, let's go be some fancy pants. I guess we don't need the construction jackets anymore. Technically. Oh, something's happening. A bulk goods trader from Northeast Art Haddenham. 
And don't worry about the last construction jacket here. They're a bulk goods trader. They're right here. They're going to hang around for a few days. Memes is going to give them a nice talking to later. It'll be great. But before that happens, we got an exotic goods trader to talk to. Hey, how you doing? You have 48,000 silver. Well, we have some guinea pigs for you, my friend. I'm going to keep a couple of these. We're definitely keeping Boogaboo and Rocco. We'll get rid of suffering, though. We don't want any suffering in our colony. We'll get rid of this. Ah, we'll keep the dinosaur. I mean, I bought it, so I should keep it. Bunch of other animals that we could sell if we wanted to, but I want the wool. I really do. Coriathosaurus is lots of them for sale. We're keeping our pandas, but thank you for the favor. We'll sell the rhinos. I don't need them. They could make use of them. Eight or six thousand neutromine. My goodness. Three hundred components. You almost have me matched. Camp nano sheets. You're not selling it. Oh my lord! Nine hundred glitter world medicine? Just please. I don't have that much money. Oh, you don't have any uranium. That's what I was kind of hoping for. I'm really disappointed that you don't have uranium but we do have some things to sell you so have some drinking cups would you like a heart hmm scyther blades AI they have sake but we don't really huh legendary warlords plate I mean it's pretty great you only have 15 of them and that's pretty cool, not gonna lie. Sell some of these clothing that we don't need. There's quite a bit of clothing here we don't need. So, it can all go. We're keeping our gold, but thank you for the... Wow. Wow! That's a lot of others. You have a lot of other stuff. Of various quality and pricings. I was gonna say, is that a Devil's Leaf bed? It's not that great, but... A brick bed? Just don't leave it. Want a sculpture? I don't know if I want to sell it. Dude, all the Devil's Leaf fabric bed rolls you could want. My goodness. Here, whoa, this is a masterwork sculpture? My goodness. It's a network of blue lights over a cliff. It refers to Jenny's residence illuminated by the light of an aurora on the 6th of Jugus. 5507. That's awesome. I had to put that somewhere. 500 beauty? Oh my goodness. I don't want 66 God King's Thrones, but I appreciate the support. Dude, this place is freaking stacked. And by place, I mean ship. I mean, there's a lot of stuff I would be happy to take. Got the holy hand grenade. You only got 16 of them. Don't worry about it. But... I don't know if I would want to sell any more things for it. Like, that's a lot of Glitter World medicine. I'm okay with having 30 right now. I haven't been doing nearly as much surgery as I could be. Yeah, we're fine with that. <laughs> that's still some amazing... That was still some amazing results, I gotta say. Horatio out here hunting. Good job. You killed the youngin. It was barely in the prime of its life. It was five hours old. I mean, that's that's how it works. In the circle of life, the circle of death. Why are you, are you not eating the hay? There's no hay for you to eat. Okay. That would do it. The hay's almost grown, though. We're going to have more hay for him soon. Don't get it twisted. I think they'll be okay. I think so. I mean, we're putting veggie kibble in here. Maybe we should put normal kibble in here. Obviously, the hay goes in here. But yeah, let's put in some normal kibble. Let's make normal kibble out of not hay, right? Bulk kibble. I think you can. I don't remember for sure. Yeah, you can. I think. I don't remember if uh, if it is, but I think it's just veggies and stuff. So, you know, make uh, 200 kibble. 
Do this up for our animals, if you would please. We are out of meat as well. Wow, we might have to do some culling of the herds here. You know what? Let's hunt some animals. Yeah, I know hippopotamuses will freaking attack if harmed. But we will also be hungry if we don't eat. So, ipso facto, one, two, three, this is what we're going to have to do to save our lives from the dangers of not having meat. Iguanodon. Cool. We're going to eat it. Just hunt everything on the map. Okay. Brexio's been inspired. Anyway... Any luck on that heavy turret? Not yet. We're still repairing over here. We're doing that like crazy. Alright. Mames. Talk with the dead horse. Don't beat it, please. Where is he? Oh, he's probably out mining. It's usually what he's doing. When I can't find him. All right. Hi, Catalina, the Dryosaurus. Double fit bed frame is done. That's good. I just wanted to make one so that we can put in the uh, double bed once we have the opportunity. Harvesting's getting done. It's pretty great. Looks like we are turning wheat into flour, which is pretty great as well. And dirt's getting put in. And Elsa's doing some hunting. All right. Nicely done. Okay. Let me see. Soil from sand. Not quite enough to do another load yet. It's okay. We're almost there. We're almost there. All right. Both goods trader time. Let's go. You got 1,400. You got some unfertilized emu eggs. It's pretty great. You got some cloth. You got some steel. That's pretty great. I like that. Here, take some of our cocoa. Ain't no way we're going to need 825. We could sell some of it, make a little bit of cash money, and then sell some of this clothing that's garbage. We need to actually start making more clothing here soon. Oh, yeah, because we've got a lot of garbage clothing. I've, I've noticed quite a bit of it. Okay. Yeah, there's a lot to be done when it comes to our clothing. Warborn shield helmet. That's not actually a very good shield, if I remember correctly. Either way, I don't really want it right this second anyway. Cloth bed. Let's sell those. Devil's leaf fabric. Mega sloth hospital bed. The center part of a couch. But only the center part. They don't have the rest of it. We have a lot of animal furs and stuff that we could sell as well. They have Neutroamine, chem fuel. We'll buy your components, sure. And then we can sell you some of this uh, this hide and stuff that we're not going to use, like the Coriosaurus hide, a little bit of Dryosaurus hide for you. And how about this turkey leather? Tortoise leather. Lynx skin, llama hide, gray pelt, sheep wool. All right. Still made some good money. I'm not complaining. Let's go. Okay. Couple of decent trades. Another trade ship. Rimatomics is passing by. I summoned them. I remember this. We got to do this. I was about to end the episode, and then it was like, Rimatomics is by. Oh, we better check them out. Like, immediately. Talk to them. Tell them our secrets. Where am I? It's taking me so long. Let's go! Alright, excuse me for a minute there, Elsa. We have made it. Alright, Rimatomics, what you got for me? 9,000 silver, chem fuel, components, potassium iodide, steel, uranium! Oh, God, yes. This is all I need. You have uranium pellets as well. 
used in the construction of nuclear fuel rods. Interesting. Reactor components. Plutonium. Can be used to create nuclear weapons or nuclear fuel rods. Okay, we're getting into some dangerous stuff now. Kinetic energy projectile fired from a rail gun. Oh, my lordy. Fuel rods. Fuel rods. Nuclear warhead. Yeah, I can see why that's a little expensive. You have some very interesting things, my friend. I take this mask. I don't really need it. That said, I want your uranium, and I am willing to pay whatever you're willing to charge for it. 300 uranium and stockpile crates on lock. Oh, yes, life has just gotten a lot better. My sweet sauce. We've done it. All right. Several things are happening. First of all, triple strike, you got this. I believe in you, and I know why. Okay, advanced nuclear power plant. We need 10 advanced components. Do me this favor. It's going to take 50 uranium. Dude, we got to over 300. We're going to build a nuclear power plant. Yes, I am excited. Oh, yeah, I'm excited. We're just going to put it... I don't care where. We'll put it somewhere. Oh, God, it's going to be good. Sorry, I'm... Got a little excited about that. And we got some new, like, shelving somewhere that I made some research for. I don't even know where it is, how you make it, what it comes from. I can barely rem remember what it's called. It's like stockpile crates. Reinforced stockpile crate. Stockpile, stockpile crate. I don't, I don't, I don't know. Maybe they're in here. I, I'll find them later. Whatever. <laughs> I gotta end this episode. That's gonna be it for this episode of That Plays Rim World Beta 18. I loved it. We made a lot of progress in areas that I am very happy with. Thank you very much for watching this episode of That Plays Rim World Beta 18. If you enjoyed it, make sure to let me know by giving a like. If you haven't already, feel free to subscribe for more. Till then, I'll see you next time. Here on That Plays Rim World. All right, Elsa, you're in a kind of a bad spot here. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna draft you and have you try to walk away. But you're probably gonna get hurt. Actually, you know what? Just kill the dang thing. Too good.